In this video, we're gonna cover diagnosing no brake lights. <clears throat> we're using an E250 Ford as an example. And this is gonna be like a do-it-yourself or in the driveway, in the parking lot kind of procedure in case you're somewhere not in the shop and you don't have all of your diagnostic tools. Okay, the procedure is not gonna vary that much because the vehicle itself hasn't changed just because you're stranded in a parking lot or in your driveway. First of all, you're going to want to set up something where you can see the lights. Now, as you can see, park the van where it, the back end is facing another car. And you can kind of see the reflection of the tail light in the paint of the other car. Even in the shop situation, I don't like using mirrors because every fourth, fifth, 10th time you use the mirror, somebody knocks it over or you knock it over yourself. And then you got a broken mirror and glass everywhere. It's hard to knock over another car when you're using the paint reflection to see your tail light. The other trick I like to use, which is even better, is when you take the tail light out to check the bulbs, which you're gonna do anyway, that's gonna be the first thing you do. You can take a coat hanger and set it up, It'll be different for every situation, set up a coat hanger. Now, if you got really nice paint, it's a late model car or something, make sure you put some tape on the coat hanger to protect the paint of the car. But put your bulbs where you can see them. Then, of course, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get you a stick a little tree limb or something laying around, whatever you can find, so that you can comfortably reach over here and push the pedal. And as you can see, no brake lights. Now, even if you're stranded, you can use your cell phone to look up fuse locations or look in the back of the fuse panel cover. Sometimes you get lucky and it's there. And this particular one, I have in the past already looked up online and printed out my sheet and I carry it around and you can see it's dingy carried around in the van and I marked yesterday where the which ones were the brake lights fuse number 11 is the brake light fuse and here is the brake relay that's in the box that's underneath I'll just show you right here box underneath the hood and right here, that is your brake light fuse. Now what you can do here is cheat by these two relays are exactly the same. Pull them both out one at a time. Set it where you know which way it goes. Swap the relays out. Go back. Stick on the brake pedal, push it down. No brake lights, not the relay. And the number 11 fuse is in here near the brake pedal. It will be different in your different vehicle. Then you have, of course, the brake switch itself, which is often a culprit. The easy way to check that is it has two wires, one going in and one going out. You take your multimeter and you check the one wire to find out which one has 12 volts going into it. And then you put it, your lead on the other wire and press the pedal and see it power goes away and comes back as you depress and release the pedal to make sure the switch is working. Now that you've checked all that and it's still not working, play around with some of the controls and watch the lights. I'm gonna be moving this turn signal indicator up and down and see if the turn signals are working. Left side. Nope, they're not blinking. Right side, nope, not blinking. Okay, now let's try this again with the pedal depressed. Get the stick here. Press it down. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna do all this with the camera on. Okay, this, I'm wiggling the turn signal indicator around and you can see the light comes on and off and I wiggle it enough. And there, brake lights are working now. Go with the pedal, press the pedal, let go of the pedal, press the pedal. Now it appears to be fixed from wiggling that around, but then you know the very first time you go to use your turn signals or hit a bump, you're gonna have no brake lights again. 
and that's from wiggling this turn signal indicator around, which means our turn signal indicator switch in this right here at the steering column is bad. Now that's the problem on this van, and that's what we found here. And we're gonna replace that and fix that. That's not gonna be something you can do in a parking lot. So it will have to go to the shop. We'll have to put it up, well, we won't have to put it up on the lift or anything, but I do wanna be in the shop where I've got all my tools. I just wanted to go over a couple other things with you. I have seen one of my other guys, he was working on one of these, not this same year model, but it's all the same components. And he found a wire right in here in the corner was broken even though all this was still intact and wasn't damaged at all somehow one of the wires from this relay right here goes down under the box came around and right in there was broken that's not the problem with this van but it was another van we had in the shop so in case you don't have a bad turn signal indicator you can look for that another place i've seen them bad was one of them, one brake light was working over here, but the other one wasn't. And right in here, get this down here, right in here where the wires go down here, they were fine from here over, but right in here, there was a wire broken. And that feeds all the way over and to in there. But if that's still not your problem, you should look for grounds and you can look in places like right here where it goes in and there's an edge of metal right there. It can get broken. Okay guys, before you go, just one word of caution. Anything you wanna do that you see in my videos or hear in my videos, do at your own risk. Now, you could make things worse or you could end up burnt, bruised, or bleeding. After doing thousands, possibly tens of thousands of cars and passing over 50 certification tests, I still screw things up and I still get burnt, bruised, or bleeding. Heck, you can even wake up in the hospital one day or not wake up at all. So be careful and remember, the most careful and painless way to fix your car is to pay somebody else to do it.